going on everyone welcome rabbit here ai is popping off and cpu mining is getting extremely profitable you may or may not have heard about it by now looking here we do have oc3d.net talking about miners targeting the 7950x to chase crypto profits we have tech power-ups talking about cubic cryptocurrency mining craze causing amd ryzen 9 7950x stocks to evaporate they're up over 200 dollars in canada here where i am in my rough area and also they're being limited new egg it only allows one per person so we're running out of stock and people are buying up cpus and things are crazy so i've been trying this for a couple weeks trying to understand the blockchain and this is totally different than anything you guys have mined before things are working a lot differently so please hear me out and listen how to this part here as i'm still learning so i'm probably going to get a lot of things wrong bear with me but you got to understand a few things here and you know for the past couple of weeks here my cpu farm has been making over 250 dollars a day per se so it is extremely profitable at least until all that hash rate hits but you are solo mining so things are very different you're not sending shares your luck is definitely a factor as well and if you don't hit any souls which are all also known as blocks then you know you're not going to get anything so keep that in mind uh the epoch does change every week so every wednesday at about 5 a.m mountain time which is my time it does change the epoch that's when the difficulty adjusts that's when payouts go out so you're only getting paid once a week not every single day so these are all factors you got to consider and it adds up your souls and based on the souls that you find and everything that's when you get your payout and based on the hash rate that comes in each time that also will determine how many souls are found so picture bitcoin for an example the difficulty adjusts about every two weeks so this we're on a timeline it doesn't matter remember when ergo had the big issue there where their epoch went the difficulty went through the roof and you have to wait for the next epoch and then no one was finding any shares or stuff this is based on the same one week thing so every one week the epoch changes doesn't matter on hash rate or blocks and stuff being found it adjusts every wednesday so if a whole bunch of miners come in this week and everyone's finding a crap ton of shares next week that difficulty will adjust and those souls are going to drop dramatically so keep that in mind guys because it won't adjust the difficulty based on hash rate it does do it every single week now coming into the portal here i am going to be using cubic.li for this this i think is the only pool that actually also supports gpu so you can gpu mine but it does look like cpus are benefiting by finding souls again luck based use your gpus don't use your gpus it doesn't matter i'm using full cpus and rocking it in so here we can see last epoch 98 which was two weeks ago i did find 291 solutions i got 66.4 million coins now they did change the algorithm a little bit where it does look like the network hash rate and everything all your hash rates that you're doing now it's they're calling it here it is the same as a hash it actually dropped about 10x which means the network difficulty dropped 10x and so on but the sole rewards went up quite a bit as we can see here i only found 37 solutions versus 291 the network hash did seem to be a little bit lower based on the previous one because people weren't knowing what's going on here they were saying they're not finding any souls but each soul was worth quite a bit more in this case 37 souls worked out to be 136.1 million coins you can see the difference here 37 versus 291 66 million versus 136 but again guys if you do not find a soul you are not going to get anything all right so starting with the wallet and i also want to point out here that i believe this coin is like six to eight years old it's been around since bitcoin talk i don't know if it's 2016 2018 in there but this coin has been here for quite some time all right so this is your wallet here it is a web wallet base type of wallet here and you don't get a seed phrase you set it up like normal one but you're gonna have to actually download a vault file set up a password and stuff so once you do that make sure you do download that vault file that way you do need that to send transactions unlock your wallet and so far so if you lose that file guys you lose your wallet so think of that as your seed phrase but moving in it does look like they will be having a 24 word seed phrase gui wallet kind of coming here soon a community wallet they're calling it a beta version within the next four weeks so a new wallet will be emerging other than the web wallet according to all this moving forward we're going to have to set up and assign to a pool so once you go to the pool here you're going to come in go to overview and basically it's going to ask you to subscribe to a pool so i am using where is it here somewhere 
Got to go. Okay, I'm going to go back into pool mining here. So here you can see I say uh, subscribed right now. It'll say unsubscribe. Uh, you'll come up all this, and you're going to want it. So this is the 85% fixed reward fee so i do find i don't really try, i haven't tried any of the other pools so i'm just showing you how to do this pool which is what i'm on so again i'm up in the air all over the place right now but the point is this is the gpu cpu mining fixed reward 85 percent pool here and you're going to have to hit that subscribe button once you do that you're going to come up and you're going to get an access token so inside your access token i'm not going to show mine say show token you just click on that and this is what you're going to use in all of your miners here as your wallet address then once you come into your actual settings you're going to place your wallet from the web wallet right here you're going to paste this address into the pool settings on your payout account but again when you're mining you're not mining specifically straight to your wallet you're actually mining to the access token of the pool now there are three pools available i believe and each pool has their own miner there isn't one all runner type of miner here for all of these so it also depends on the pool you do choose which you will find in their discord there's multiple different pools out there but this setup is for the pool i'm currently using so everything i kind of mentioned here anyway is right on their main website as well you can just follow this step for step and kind of do everything that needs to be done as well so the next thing we are going to need now that we know that we have to use our token address on the pool and then we put our wallet address to the pool so we can get our payouts once every week remember Remember, that's every Wednesday is when you're going to get paid or at least see your payments. And then it might take another two days after that to actually get your payout. Point is, this is how it works. Don't start complaining and adding more disgruntled people into the Discord. This is the way it works. So just I'm trying to explain that ahead of time so that people don't flood in the Discord and start saying, oh, I'm not finding a soul or when am I getting paid? I'm not getting paid. This information is here in this video already. So just try not to do that. It'll help the dev team and all that other stuff there, mods and so on so now we're going to go in and we need our actual ai client this is what we're going to need to actually mine so we can just click on the github link right here and now you can see the different versions so i have been using uh the versions with the default configuration this is all without so i've been downloading one of these i'm currently on 1.8.7.1 which they don't have any here anymore uh there is a new beta version i haven't tried yet but i've been finding souls with this one so it seems to be all right so simply download that and then you know put it in your computer obviously extract it and i'll show you the next steps now once you download and extract that all you're going to have here initially is the app settings json file and your qli client or your runner might be here as well depending on the version that you get you don't need to use this all you got to use is the qli client and you don't got to give any type of administrator permissions as well just simply double click on it but first you got to set up your app settings so we're going to come into here and and you can kind of see what's going on here. So you're going to have to put in the base URL, mine.cubic.le. I think this was already here, or li, but I can't remember 100%. Then you're going to want to set your thread amount. Now, depending on the epoch and when they change things, this could change all over the place. Example, epoch 98, I could only run at about 12 to 14 threads. And, or if I went above that, you know, everything would start crashing. I'd need more voltage and stuff. As of the latest epoch, I can run full threads, and it seems to be all right. Now for 3900 x's and so it seems like 15 threads is around the sweet spot so you're going to want to play around with your thread count here just to tweak your cpu as max as you can i'm on my workstation i'm just currently running 30 threads right now a uh, payout id this will stay as null and access token this is obviously your big token here that you're going to utilize that you get from the pool and then your alias is just simply put in your worker name right here so that's all you got to do for that once you're done you're just going to close that out double click on the client and then you'll see something like this pop up and this is the miner mining away this is a 7950x it's doing about 101 it's per second which is the same as hashes it has so far found zero souls so this cpu has not found anything for yet but again you're using all your cpus together and you are solo mining now I just want to point out next on the Windows list it does say download and install net runtime 6 and VC risk, uh, redistribution here from this file. I didn't do that and mine seemed to work. Maybe I already had it installed from something else. I'm not sure. So you know you may have to get this. I'm not 100% sure but I did not download this and mine seems to be running fine. So next up we also have a client for Hive OS. So now we're going to move into the Hive OS version and show you how to set that up. Alright so now we have a another minor version here and this is for hive os and it has everything you got to do so use this in your flight sheet so 
So you're going to have to use a custom miner. Simply copy this right here. Right click. You're going to copy that. And this is what you're going to use for the install address of this miner. And this works with both CPUs and GPUs as well. Now there is a new beta version, which you'll have to run this in every single rig by going through your command prompt. I'm not running this version, so I seem to be fine on just a strict up or straight up 1.8.8 version here. So everything seems all right. So now we're going to scroll down here and you can kind of go through some of the commands and stuff. Now, if you are on NVIDIA, it already has kind of how to set everything. So you are going to have to run this in your flight sheet. All the pretty much shows you everything you got to do right here. So you can see NV tool on GPUs, set core offset. I actually set mine when I tried them at 300. I set my clocks around, depending on my GPUs, it was 14 to 1600 on the core. And then I did lock my memory actually at 5001. This is saying set mem to 7000, but I was actually doing a core lock of 5001, like I just said. And then you, if you're running with your CPUs as well, you set your threads here as well. Access token, this is your pool token, which we showed you earlier about the mining pool itself, where you set your actual wallet address at the pool. So you are mining to your big, huge access token again Again, not to your actual wallet address now there's a GPU only flight sheet you can follow this along all these links will be down in the description and then there's the CPU only flight sheet which is what I'm going to be showing you guys because we're talking about our CPU mining here which has been extremely good on this coin so before you make your flight sheet, you're actually going to have to do a few things in HiveOS first through the shell SSH there. So you're going to have to make sure if you're on Ryzen 7000 series, you probably already are because that's the only way to see CPU temperatures is running the HiveOS beta. But if all your other rigs are not on HiveOS beta, you're going to have to swap it over and install the beta onto all of them. And then you're going to have to run this command after you do so. Now, if you're already on the beta and you run this command and then you start mining after I show you to set up the flight sheet and everything and you're getting errors about not uh, connecting or something with the GLIBC here then you're going to have to re reinstall the beta and then run this command right here so I'll show you kind of how to do that I already have it all done here obviously but I'll just run through the steps right quick so you're going to come into your hive OS here you're going to click here and run hive shell start so we're just going to wait for this thing to begin the hive shell start now, it may work with just the normal SSH as well. I'm not 100% sure, but that may be a little quicker to get into your rig. But I like to use Hive Shell because then it allows you to bypass a lot of permissions and stuff. So I would recommend just using Shell. But again, you may be able to do it from the web shell. So once this does finally allow me to get into Hive Shell here, which it seems to be taking its sweet time. There we go. So once it's there, we're just simply going to click on that. And then we're going to click on right here. We're now allowing to get that permission and the shell inside of our HiveOS rigs. So once we're in here, we're just going to simply right click here, paste from browser. And I'm just going to paste that in right here. Oh, it didn't paste. So we're going to come back into here. I'm going to right click, copy this, come in. We're going to paste from browser here. There we go. So now you can see that command there. So you're going to want to run that. But again, make sure you're in hive shell so i'm going to get rid of this because i don't want to run this now if you are in any other version of hive other than beta or this is not working for you you're going to have to reinstall the beta version i actually did have to reinstall the beta version on the rigs that already had the beta so you're going to want to run hive replace so you simply hit hive dash replace like so and then dash dash here uh list and this will bring up the options here. So it's loading all the HiveOS images here. You're going to see the latest beta is number two right here. So you're simply just going to push number two and then enter and it'll reinstall it. Then you're going to run that command and then you can begin setting up your flight sheet. All right. So now coming into HiveOS here, you're going to want to add your wallet. Obviously, it's not really going to do anything, but you're going to need it to make your flight sheet. So go into your wallets here. Wait for it to do its thing. Add your wallet. Add type in cubic like so now this is defaulted in hive os already and then just paste your normal wallet address that you normally would right here paste that in there to get your wallet address and then enter your wallet name you know web url whatever but it's not being used anyway so it doesn't really matter so but you are going to need that so now we're going to come into here i'm just going to open up one of my flight sheets so you can see exactly what's going on in here this is a 3900x and now we're just going to go into your flight sheet here you're going to put in your coin cubic wallet i named it web there's no pools by default you're going to have to configure this in your miner itself and then set your miner to custom 
to set up your miner, you're going to copy that link, like I said earlier, into this spot right here. And then it'll bring up the miner name L World. And then you're going to put your worker name in your wallet and worker template. That way it will pull your HiveOS worker names. And then your pool URL, this is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash mine.cubic.li just as, exactly the same as what we did in our windows there no password here and then down here is when you're going to put in all things so cpu only i did put yes access token and that's all you got to do so here's the access token to connect to the pool you're going to apply these changes and pretty much begin mining so apply changes there once you do that update save flight sheet whatever and then point out your rig hit the rocket ship and you're off to the races so you know it's it's pretty simple to actually get set up once you kind of get things going here but the main thing that's different here is you have your wallet address but you're actually using the token address that the pool gives you to mine to and i don't want i want to stress that one more and more and more so you guys don't get confused here is your access token once you do subscribe to the pool it will give it to you here by simply clicking show token and that's what you're going to use for that address and settings again Put your wallet address into the settings here. That's how you're going to get your payouts. And once you get everything fired up, you are going to have to wait a good five minutes, maybe even 20 minutes. It's going to take a little while to start getting your rigs all detected and everything in here. But then you should start to see your current total ITs, you know, solutions found and so on. But guys, remember, you are solo mining. Luck is definitely a factor. Epoch difficulty adjusts every single week. Resets are on Wednesdays. Be very patient and hang in there. So that's pretty much all there is. So if you do have any questions, you know, join my Discord. Link in the description. I will have links to all of this down below. And currently, this is the most profitable coin to mine on a CPU. And in theory, my farm is making more than Bitmain's KS5. And that hasn't even released yet. So... It's pretty insane on how profitable things are right now. As more and more miners move on, depending on the price moving up and down, obviously that's going to change. Next week after, you know, the release of this video and everything, I do believe that that difficulty is going to skyrocket and there's probably going to be a lot less solutions happening next week. So keep in mind, don't start complaining. Don't start hitting the Discord. Don't do all these things. This is just the way this coin works and it's not going to change. So Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Ravid out.